Your favorite daily beverages can cause serious illnesses you don't even know about. The most frustrating part is that these drinks are popular not only with adults, but also with children and teenagers. In this video, we will reveal the shocking truth about 10 dangerous drinks that you and your kids drink every day without even realizing that they can lead to obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, kidney and liver failure. Watch to the end to learn how to protect yourself and your loved ones from the dangers. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Number 1. Coffee drinks with added sugar, syrups, and heavy cream. Daily consumption of coffee with added sugar and heavy cream has become almost the norm of modern urban life. Many people, even realizing the dangers of such a combination, cannot give up their favorite latte with caramel syrup or cappuccino with added cream. However, research shows that such drinks can become a real health hazard. In a study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association, researchers found that daily consumption of sugary drinks, such as coffee with syrups and cream, significantly increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Why does this happen? The fact is that such drinks contain a huge amount of empty calories. These are sugar and saturated fats, which do not carry any benefit for the body. One large latte can contain up to 400 to 500 calories, and that's just for one drink. In addition, these coffee drinks often cause the accumulation of visceral fat, the most dangerous fat that surrounds internal organs and increases the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and type 2 diabetes. Research conducted at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health shows that regular consumption of sugary coffee drinks increases the likelihood of developing metabolic syndrome, a precursor to diabetes and cardiovascular disease, by 25%. Think about how much sugar and fat is in your favorite coffee drink. For example, a popular drink, a large volume caramel macchiato, can contain up to 50 grams of sugar, which is about 10 teaspoons. The World Health Organization recommends consuming no more than six teaspoons of sugar per day to maintain good health. But one cup of this drink already exceeds this norm. At the same time, heavy cream that is added to coffee can contain up to 20 grams of saturated fat. That's almost the entire daily allowance for an adult. Saturated fats are the cause of increased levels of bad cholesterol in the blood, which increases the risk of clogged arteries and, as a consequence, heart attack or stroke. An example of this is the story of a famous American blogger who suffered from chronic overeating of sugary coffee drinks. For several years, her love for caramel frappuccino led to a gain of 30 kilograms of excess weight and the development of pre-diabetic state. Her doctors urged her to give up sugary drinks completely and to rethink her eating habits. This was a real challenge for her, but a year after giving up coffee with syrups and cream, her weight had dropped and her health indicators had improved significantly. The solution to the problem is much simpler than it seems at first glance. All you have to do is rethink your habits a bit and limit your consumption of coffee drinks with sugar, syrups, and heavy cream. Imagine how your health would improve if every sip of coffee didn't come with extra calories and unhealthy additives. Here are some simple steps to help you still enjoy your coffee, but without risking your body. Start by trying to switch to black coffee. Yes, you may find its taste more pungent at first, but over time you'll be able to appreciate its rich flavor and purity. Plus, black coffee has no calories and is rich in antioxidants which are like little defenders protecting your cells from damage. If you find it hard to give up sweets completely, try to find alternatives to sugar. Natural substitutes like stevia or a little honey will add a nice sweetness to your coffee, but won't do as much damage as regular sugar. This small step will allow you to enjoy a familiar flavor without upsetting the balance in your body. What if you're used to the delicate texture of cream? No problem. Instead of heavy cream, you can use non-fat or plant-based counterparts. Almond or oat milk are great options. They will add a creamy texture to the drink, but will not overload you with extra fat and calories. Finally, 
you don't have to give up your favorite drinks right away. Just reduce the portions. Order smaller amounts and drink them less frequently, such as a few times a week. This step will allow you to continue to enjoy the pleasures of coffee, but without the daily strain on your body. Coffee with added sugar, syrups, and heavy cream is not just a morning treat, but a potential threat to your health. If you want to live long and keep your heart and blood vessels healthy, reconsider your habits. Replace sugary drinks with healthier alternatives and watch your health scores and overall well-being improve. Number 2. Sweet Carbonated Drinks Sweet carbonated drinks have earned a place on tables all over the world. They can be found on every corner, in cafes, restaurants, vending machines on the street, and in offices. But with every sip of these drinks, you consume a huge amount of sugar, chemical additives, and empty calories that have a devastating effect on your body. Research supports this conclusion. For example, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, regular consumption of sugary carbonated beverages increases the risk of obesity by 26% and type 2 diabetes by 30%. These aren't just numbers. They're real threats that can lead to chronic diseases and even shorten your life. Interesting fact, one 330 milliliter can of popular soda can contain up to 39 grams of sugar. That's about nine teaspoons. The World Health Organization recommends that adults limit their intake of added sugar to 25 grams per day. Thus, just one can of soda exceeds this norm by almost twice that amount. Excessive consumption of sugary carbonated beverages not only leads to obesity and diabetes, but also has a negative impact on the cardiovascular system. A study conducted by scientists from the Harvard School of Public Health, Harvard School of Public Health, found that daily consumption of carbonated beverages increases the risk of heart attack by 20%. This is because sugar and artificial additives cause inflammation in the body, which leads to poor vascular and heart function. In addition, constant exposure of teeth to sugar can cause tooth decay and enamel breakdown. One study published in the Journal of Public Health Dentistry found that people who regularly drink sugary, carbonated beverages are 50% more likely to suffer from tooth decay and gum disease compared to those who prefer water or unsweetened beverages. An example of this is the story of a young man from Australia who suffered from obesity and type 2 diabetes for several years. The main cause of his health problems was his daily consumption of carbonated drinks. He drank several liters a day without thinking about the damage he was doing to his body. Doctors warned him about the serious consequences, and the man was forced to give up sodas completely. Within a year after giving up sweet drinks, he lost about 25 kilograms and improved his blood sugar, although he was not able to fully restore his health. To protect yourself and your loved ones from the negative effects of sugary sodas, there are a few steps you can take to change your habits for the better. The first step is to reduce your sugar intake. Water or unsweetened teas can be a great alternative to sodas. Not only does water quench your thirst, but it is also a major source of hydration for your body, keeping all of its systems functioning. Next, pay attention to what you are buying. If it's still difficult to completely give up carbonated beverages, Take the time to study the labels. The composition of the drink is key. Try to choose those with less sugar and avoid artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, which can negatively affect the nervous system and cause headaches. If you can't get enough sweetness, don't give up the flavorful treat. Just find healthier alternatives. Add fresh berries, mint, or lemon and lime slices to your water. These natural ingredients will give your drink a pleasant flavor without harming your body. And of course, you don't have to take any drastic steps. If you find it difficult to give up soda right away, start by reducing its quantity. Replace one can of soda with a glass of water or tea every day, and soon your desire to drink sweet drinks will be noticeably less. Sweet carbonated drinks may seem like an essential part of our lives, but behind this sweet treat lies a serious health hazard. Obesity, diabetes, heart and dental problems are just some of the consequences that await those who continue to consume such drinks on a daily basis. The choice is in your hands. 
reconsider your habits, and take a step towards a healthy future. Number 3. Juices with Added Sugar Many health-conscious people choose to drink juices instead of sodas, believing that it is a healthier choice. However, juices with added sugar, which are widely sold in stores, can contain the same or even more sugar than sugary sodas. Not only is their regular consumption unhealthy, but they can also be responsible for gaining excess weight, raising blood sugar levels, and increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease. Studies show that consuming juices with added sugar can significantly increase the risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. In one study conducted by scientists from Harvard University, it was found that people who regularly drink such juices have a 21% increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The reason is that despite the fruit base, the added sugar dramatically raises blood glucose levels, causing insulin to be released. Over time, this can lead to the development of insulin resistance, the primary mechanism underlying type 2 diabetes. Take orange juice, for example, which many people consider healthy. One 250 milliliter serving of orange juice can contain up to 24 grams of sugar. That's about six teaspoons. In comparison, one 330 milliliter can of popular soda contains approximately 39 grams of sugar, which is only slightly more. Although orange juice contains vitamin C, its high sugar concentration negates many of its potential benefits. An example is the story of a young woman who replaced water with orange juice for several years, believing it to be a healthier alternative. She drank two glasses of juice each day without realizing how much sugar she was consuming. As a result, a few years later she developed prediabetes and gained 10 pounds of excess weight. Her doctors urged her to give up juices with added sugar and switch to water and whole fruits. This helped her stabilize her blood sugar levels and improve her overall health. When we eat whole fruits, the sugar in them is accompanied by fiber, which slows its absorption and helps keep blood glucose levels stable. Juices have little or no fiber, which causes blood sugar levels to spike quickly. This leads to spikes in insulin, which not only makes you feel hungry, but can also contribute to weight gain. According to the World Health Organization, the intake of added sugar should not exceed 10% of the total calories in the diet. This is equivalent to about 50 grams of sugar per day for an adult with normal activity levels. However, many people who drink juices with added sugar easily exceed this amount without realizing how much sugar they are consuming on a daily basis. To protect yourself and your loved ones from the dangers of drinking juices with added sugar, you can simply review your habits. There are a few simple guidelines that can help make your diet healthier. First, always try to choose natural juices with no added sugar. This is the first and important step. When you buy juice in the store, pay attention to the labels. Look for inscriptions confirming that the product is 100% fruit. But if you have the opportunity, the best choice is to make juice yourself from fresh fruit. Such juice will be not only tasty, but also useful because you will know for sure that there are no additives in it. In addition, you should not forget about the measure. Even if the juice is completely natural, you should not drink it without restriction. Juices, even without sugar, are devoid of fiber, which is found in whole fruits. And it is fiber that helps your body regulate blood sugar levels by slowing down its absorption. Therefore, it is better to reduce the amount of juice you drink and give preference to whole fruits. Remember that the easiest and most effective way to quench your thirst is always water. It is ideal for keeping your body hydrated, and if you want to flavor it, add lemon, lime, or cucumber slices to a glass of water. This will make the water not only refreshing, but also more interesting to taste. Lastly, aim to replace juices with fresh fruits. Not only will this help you keep your blood sugar levels stable, but it will also give you more vitamins, minerals, and fiber that your body so desperately needs. Juices with added sugar are often touted as a healthy alternative to other beverages, but they can cause significant harm to your health. Obesity, 
diabetes and cardiovascular disease are just some of the consequences of drinking such juices on a regular basis. Reconsider your habits and opt for natural, unsweetened beverages and whole fruits. This will help you stay healthy and avoid serious diseases in the future. Number 4. Milkshakes At first glance, a milkshake may not seem that harmful. It's milk, ice cream, and a little syrup for flavor. But the reality is that milkshakes contain huge amounts of sugar and saturated fat that can seriously damage your health, especially if consumed regularly. Studies show that milkshakes contribute to rapid excess weight gain and increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. One study by scientists at the American Heart Association found that regular consumption of beverages high in sugar and saturated fat, such as milkshakes, increases the likelihood of obesity in children and adolescents by 45%. Imagine that one large milkshake of about 500 milliliters can contain up to 700 calories. That's more than a third of a child or teenager's daily calorie allowance. At the same time, such a shake can contain up to 90 grams of sugar, the equivalent of 22.5 teaspoons. According to World Health Organization recommendations, children should limit their intake of added sugar to 25 grams per day. One milkshake already exceeds this norm by nearly four times. Saturated fats, which are abundant in milkshakes, are also harmful to the cardiovascular system. One popular milkshake can contain up to 20 grams of saturated fat, which is almost the entire daily allowance for an adult. These fats increase the level of bad cholesterol in the blood, which leads to the formation of plaque in the arteries and increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. In one American family, a teenage boy loved milkshakes so much that he drank them almost every day after school. It became a ritual to stop by a coffee shop on the way home and order a large chocolate shake. For a few years, this sweet treat didn't seem dangerous. But by the age of 16, the boy had developed obesity, breathing problems, and heart discomfort. Doctors diagnosed him with a pre-diabetic condition, and the family was forced to drastically change his diet. The recovery process was long and difficult, but this story is a clear example of how regular consumption of milkshakes can jeopardize the health of even a young body. But the situation is not at all hopeless. Even if you're not ready to give up milkshakes completely, there are a few simple steps you can take to reduce their harm and keep enjoying your favorite beverage. For starters, try switching to lower calorie versions of shakes. Instead of ordering a smoothie from a coffee shop, make one at home. Use skim milk or plant-based alternatives such as almond or oat milk. This will help to significantly reduce the amount of fat in the drink. Plus, instead of sugar, you can add natural ingredients such as fresh berries or fruits, which will give your smoothie a bright flavor and make it healthier. Another important step is portion control. If completely eliminating smoothies from your diet seems difficult, simply reduce the amount. Order or prepare smaller portions, replacing a large glass with a small one. This approach will allow you to continue to enjoy your favorite drink, but without unnecessary harm to your health. Let it be a small treat once a week, rather than a daily habit. Pay attention to the additives as well. Whipped cream, syrups, sugary candies, all of these make the smoothie much more caloric and increase the sugar content. Try to limit their amount or refuse such decorations altogether. Without unnecessary additives, your drink will become lighter, but will not lose its charm. If you prepare a cocktail yourself, try replacing ice cream with healthier ingredients. For example, frozen yogurt or frozen fruit will create a nice texture and refreshing flavor, but will be lower in calories and fat. This way, your smoothie will not only be less unhealthy, but also more nutritious. This approach will allow you to continue enjoying milkshakes without jeopardizing your health. Milkshakes may seem like a harmless treat, but drinking them frequently can lead to serious consequences for your health, especially when it comes to children and teens. Obesity, diabetes, and heart problems can all result from excessive consumption of these drinks. To preserve your health, 
and the health of your loved ones. It's worth rethinking your habits and replacing calorie-laden cocktails with healthier and healthier alternatives. Number five, sweet iced teas and ready-made tea drinks. At first glance, ready-made tea drinks seem like a healthier alternative to sodas, since tea is known for its antioxidant properties. But what's sold on store shelves often bears little resemblance to traditional tea. One bottle of such a drink can contain up to 50 grams of sugar, which is more than 12 teaspoons. This amount of sugar not only exceeds the daily allowance, but also brings you closer to serious health problems such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic disorders. Research published in the journal Obesity Reviews shows that regular consumption of sugary drinks, such as iced teas, increases your risk of developing metabolic syndrome by 34%. Metabolic syndrome encompasses a range of disorders, from insulin resistance and high blood sugar levels to high blood pressure and excess fat mass in the abdominal area. This condition significantly increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and even stroke. For an example, let's look at one of the popular ready-made iced teas with a volume of 500 milliliters. On average, such a drink can contain up to 200 calories and about 50 grams of sugar. That's the equivalent of about two candy bars. That being said, people often don't realize how many calories they are consuming through drinks, as drinks don't provide a feeling of satiety like solid food. This causes the calorie intake for the day to be much higher than normal and the body starts to accumulate excess weight. The story of one family from the USA demonstrates how insidious such drinks can be. The father of the family began to regularly buy sweet iced teas, believing them to be a healthy alternative to carbonated drinks. Soon, it became his daily habit. After a few months, he noticed that his weight started to increase, although his diet remained the same. After a visit to the doctor, it turned out that he was on his way to developing type 2 diabetes. Giving up iced teas and switching to water not only helped him lose weight, but also helped him regain normal blood sugar levels. To protect yourself and your loved ones from the harmful effects of sweet iced teas and ready-made tea drinks, you should reconsider your habits and make a few simple changes to your daily diet. To begin with, it's important to pay attention to what you drink. Many ready-made tea drinks contain high amounts of sugar, and this is the first thing you should avoid. It's always a good idea to read labels and choose drinks with no or minimal sugar. Also, pay attention to artificial sweeteners. They may seem less harmful, but they too have side effects such as headaches or digestive problems. The best solution is to make your own tea. Brew your favorite variety, let it cool and add fresh lemon slices, a few mint leaves or berries for flavor. Such tea is not only refreshing but also retains all its beneficial properties, getting rid of excess sugar. If it is difficult to completely give up ready-made drinks, try to limit their quantity. For example, drink them not every day but only on weekends or special occasions. This will help you reduce the amount of sugar in your diet and keep your health on track. And of course, water remains the best option for quenching thirst. To make it more flavorful and refreshing, add fruits, cucumbers, or herbs to it. This will give the water a new flavor, and it will be easier for you to give up sugary drinks. Sweet iced teas and ready-made tea drinks have become a popular choice for many, but their pleasant taste hides serious health risks. Obesity, diabetes, and metabolic disorders are just some of the problems that can arise from their regular consumption. Take a step towards a healthier lifestyle, review your habits, and choose drinks that will only benefit your body. Number seven, alcoholic beverages. Alcoholic beverages are seen by many as a way to relax and relieve stress, but they have serious effects on the body. Alcohol abuse leads to a number of serious diseases ranging from cirrhosis of the liver to cancer. When a person drinks, their liver has to process alcohol. And if the load is too great, the liver cells begin to break down. This leads to cirrhosis, a condition in which healthy liver tissue is replaced by scar tissue, which impairs its function and can be fatal. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, alcohol causes more than 3 million deaths worldwide each year, accounting for 5.3% of all deaths. 
That's more than from many other causes, including traffic accidents and diseases associated with sedentary lifestyles. But the liver is only one of the targets for alcohol. Studies show that regular alcohol consumption increases the risk of cancer of various organs, such as the mouth, throat, esophagus, liver, breast, and colon. In a study published in The Lancet Oncology, scientists found that even moderate alcohol consumption is associated with a 20% increased risk of breast cancer in women. In addition, alcohol negatively affects the cardiovascular system. It can cause an increase in blood pressure and lead to the development of hypertension. In the long run, it can trigger heart attacks and strokes. According to the American Heart Association, people who drink alcohol regularly have a 50% greater risk of heart disease than those who abstain or consume it very infrequently. The story of a man from the UK shows how quickly alcohol can undermine health. He started with an innocent fondness for beer in the evenings after work. At first it was one glass a day, then two, and then the number increased. A few years later, he developed serious liver problems and doctors diagnosed him with cirrhosis. The man had to give up alcohol completely, but his liver was already seriously damaged. Although he was able to prolong his life, it was impossible to restore his health. To minimize the damage that alcohol can do to your health and preserve your well-being, it pays to follow a few simple steps. First of all, try to limit the amount of alcohol you consume. While there are no completely safe doses, it is important to consume it in minimal amounts. The World Health Organization recommends no more than one serving of alcohol per day for women and two for men. That's about 150 milliliters of wine or a small glass of beer. Remember, the less the better. The second important point is regularity of consumption. Even if you are not over the limit, frequent alcohol consumption can have a negative impact on your health. Try to avoid regular alcohol intake and give your body time to recover by having alcohol-free days. When alcohol becomes an integral part of parties and get-togethers, try replacing it with healthier alternatives. Non-alcoholic drinks such as mineral water with lemon, non-alcoholic beer, or juice-based cocktails will allow you to enjoy your drinks and maintain a fun atmosphere without risking your health. Remember to listen to your body. Alcohol can mask signals such as fatigue or stress, but your condition is a key indicator of your health. If you feel that alcohol has started to take up too much of your life, try to figure out why and rethink your attitude towards it, finding healthier ways to cope with emotions and stress. Alcoholic beverages, which seem like a harmless part of our daily lives, can become serious health risks when abused. Obesity, cirrhosis of the liver, Cancer and cardiovascular disease are just some of the consequences faced by those who fail to control their alcohol consumption. To maintain your health and prolong your life, it is important to be conscious about your alcohol consumption and take steps to reduce or eliminate it altogether. Number 7. Alcoholic Beverages Alcoholic beverages are seen by many as a way to relax and relieve stress, but they have serious effects on the body. Alcohol abuse leads to a number of serious diseases ranging from cirrhosis of the liver to cancer. When a person drinks, their liver has to process alcohol. And if the load is too great, the liver cells begin to break down. This leads to cirrhosis, a condition in which healthy liver tissue is replaced by scar tissue, which impairs its function and can be fatal. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, Alcohol causes more than 3 million deaths worldwide each year, accounting for 5.3% of all deaths. That's more than from many other causes, including traffic accidents and diseases associated with sedentary lifestyles. But the liver is only one of the targets for alcohol. Studies show that regular alcohol consumption increases the risk of cancer of various organs, such as the mouth, throat, esophagus, liver, breast, and colon. In a study published in The Lancet Oncology, scientists found that even moderate alcohol consumption is associated with a 20% increased risk of breast cancer in women. In addition, alcohol negatively affects the cardiovascular system. 
it can cause an increase in blood pressure and lead to the development of hypertension. In the long run, it can trigger heart attacks and strokes. According to the American Heart Association, people who drink alcohol regularly have a 50% greater risk of heart disease than those who abstain or consume it very infrequently. The story of a man from the UK shows how quickly alcohol can undermine health. He started with an innocent fondness for beer in the evenings after work. At first it was one glass a day, then two, and then the number increased. A few years later, he developed serious liver problems and doctors diagnosed him with cirrhosis. The man had to give up alcohol completely, but his liver was already seriously damaged. Although he was able to prolong his life, it was impossible to restore his health. To minimize the damage that alcohol can do to your health and preserve your well-being, it pays to follow a few simple steps. First of all, try to limit the amount of alcohol you consume. While there are no completely safe doses, it is important to consume it in minimal amounts. The World Health Organization recommends no more than one serving of alcohol per day for women and two for men. That's about 150 milliliters of wine or a small glass of beer. Remember, the less the better. The second important point is regularity of consumption. Even if you are not over the limit, frequent alcohol consumption can have a negative impact on your health. Try to avoid regular alcohol intake and give your body time to recover by having alcohol-free days. When alcohol becomes an integral part of parties and get-togethers, try replacing it with healthier alternatives. Non-alcoholic drinks such as mineral water with lemon, non-alcoholic beer, or juice-based cocktails will allow you to enjoy your drinks and maintain a fun atmosphere without risking your health. Remember to listen to your body. Alcohol can mask signals such as fatigue or stress, but your condition is a key indicator of your health. If you feel that alcohol has started to take up too much of your life, try to figure out why and rethink your attitude towards it, finding healthier ways to cope with emotions and stress. Alcoholic beverages, which seem like a harmless part of our daily lives, can become serious health risks when abused. Obesity, cirrhosis of the liver, Cancer and cardiovascular disease are just some of the consequences faced by those who fail to control their alcohol consumption. To maintain your health and prolong your life, it is important to be conscious about your alcohol consumption and take steps to reduce or eliminate it altogether. Number 8. Sweet Alcoholic Cocktails Sweet alcoholic cocktails have become an essential part of parties and get-togethers with friends. However, their pleasant taste hides a dangerous reality. These drinks contain huge amounts of sugar, which dramatically increases blood glucose levels, causing insulin release. At the same time, alcohol has a toxic effect on the liver, forcing it to work at its maximum capacity to process both sugar and alcohol. According to a study conducted by scientists at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, consumption of sugary alcoholic beverages significantly increases the risk of obesity and metabolic disorders such as insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Consuming these cocktails several times a week can cause you to accumulate excess weight and increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. Consider the example of the popular pina colada cocktail. One large glass of this drink can contain up to 500 calories and more than 60 grams of sugar, which is equivalent to 15 teaspoons. This far exceeds the daily allowance of sugar recommended by the World Health Organization, which is 25 grams for women and 37.5 grams for men. Thus, one cocktail already completely covers the daily norm of sugar and creates a serious load on the liver and pancreas. In addition, Alcoholic cocktails often contain strong spirits such as rum or vodka, which increase the toxic load on the liver and can cause dehydration of the body. This is especially dangerous when combined with sugar, which only increases the harmful effects of alcohol on the body. In one case, a young woman in her 30s regularly consumed sugary alcoholic cocktails at parties with friends. She didn't realize how much sugar and calories she was consuming during the evening, believing that a couple of cocktails wouldn't do any harm. However, a few years later, she developed symptoms of obesity and high blood sugar. 
Doctors diagnosed her with the early stages of type 2 diabetes, and she had to completely change her habits, including giving up smoothies and adopting a healthier lifestyle. To protect yourself from the negative effects associated with consuming sugary alcoholic cocktails, it's important to make a few simple changes to your habits. To begin with, cut down on their consumption. The less often you drink these beverages, the less risk to your health. Save cocktails for special occasions, not for everyday consumption. If you do want to enjoy a cocktail, go for lighter and less sweet options. Replace syrups with fresh fruit or juices without added sugar. This approach will help to reduce the caloric content of the drink and reduce the load on the liver and heart. It's also worth keeping an eye on portion size. Reduce the volume of the drink by choosing smaller cocktails or prepare them yourself, controlling the quantity and quality of ingredients. This simple step can greatly reduce the negative effects on your body. When you are at a party, try alternating alcoholic cocktails with water. Not only will this help you avoid dehydration, but it will also reduce the amount of alcohol you drink. You'll be able to enjoy the socializing and atmosphere without overloading your body with excess alcohol. Lastly, try to avoid syrups. These sweet additives with high sugar content do serious harm to the body. Instead, try using natural sweeteners or add fresh fruit to your drink. Sweet alcoholic cocktails may seem like a harmless treat at a party, but they actually carry serious health risks. High amounts of sugar and hard alcohol put a strain on your liver, heart, and metabolism, which can lead to the development of obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular problems. To keep yourself healthy and enjoy your drink safely, choose lighter, healthier alternatives and remember to watch the amount of alcohol you consume. Number 9. High Sugar Sports Drinks These drinks contain high amounts of sugar, which is supposed to help replenish energy after a grueling workout. But what happens when such a drink is drunk by someone who doesn't engage in intense exercise? Instead of burning the calories from sugar, the body starts to store them in the form of fat stores. And so, regular consumption of such drinks can cause unnoticeable overweight gain, even if the rest of a person's diet remains balanced. Research supports these concerns. In one study in the British Medical Journal, Scientists found that regular consumption of sports drinks by people with low levels of physical activity increased the risk of obesity by 30%. This is because most such drinks contain up to 40 grams of sugar per 500 milliliters, which is equivalent to 10 teaspoons of sugar. Sports drinks typically contain between 30 and 40 grams of sugar per 500 milliliters, which is about the same amount found in a bottle of carbonated beverage. For those who do not exercise intensively, this concentration of sugar becomes excessive and leads to a sharp rise in blood sugar levels. If a person consumes such drinks several times a week, it can lead to metabolic disorders and the development of insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells stop responding properly to insulin, eventually leading to type 2 diabetes. One of the most striking examples is the story of a man from the U.S. who drank one bottle of sports drink every day for several years, although his physical activity was limited to walking around the office. After a few years, he noticed that his weight began to increase gradually, although he thought he was leading a healthy lifestyle. After consulting a doctor, it was discovered that sports drinks were the main cause of his weight gain and elevated blood sugar levels. To avoid the negative effects of sports drinks, it's worth remembering that they were designed for a specific purpose, to replenish energy and fluids in those who engage in intense physical activity. If you don't fall into this category, however, follow a few simple guidelines. Start by assessing your physical activity. Sports drinks are indeed beneficial for those who regularly lose large amounts of fluids and electrolytes during intense exercise. However, if your workouts are moderate in nature, these drinks may do more harm than good. For most people, water remains the best choice for maintaining water balance. It effectively quenches thirst, is calorie and sugar free, and is the best option for those who engage in light to moderate physical activity. If you want to add flavor to your drinks, you can use natural substitutes. 
For example, coconut water naturally contains electrolytes but doesn't contain a lot of sugar like sports drinks. Fresh fruit slices in plain water will also give it a refreshing flavor while still being healthy. If you do exercise vigorously and decide to drink sports drinks, remember to control the amount. Try to choose drinks with low or no sugar content and limit your intake to minimize health damage. Sports drinks, which were originally developed for athletes, have now become part of many people's daily lives. However, their high sugar content makes them dangerous for those who do not train intensely. They can lead to excess weight gain, metabolic disorders, and even the development of diabetes. To avoid these risks, choose healthier and more natural ways to quench your thirst and replenish your energy after exercise. Number 10. Energy Drinks Energy drinks contain high doses of caffeine, sugar, and other stimulants such as taurine, guarana, and ginseng. These ingredients interact with each other to cause a spike in energy. However, this energy boost is often followed by a subsequent crash, a feeling of fatigue and irritability that comes hours after drinking the beverage. Studies show that frequent consumption of energy drinks is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. The caffeine found in energy drinks can cause rapid heartbeat, increased blood pressure, and even arrhythmias. According to the American Heart Association, drinking just two to three cans of an energy drink a day can increase the likelihood of developing heart arrhythmias by 50%. In addition, energy drinks can negatively affect the nervous system. High doses of caffeine and other stimulants cause increased irritability, anxiety, and insomnia. Over time, this can deplete the nervous system and cause chronic fatigue, depression, and even panic attacks. One of the key problems with energy drinks is their caffeine content. One standard 250 milliliter can can contain between 80 and 200 milligrams of caffeine, the equivalent of three cups of strong coffee. If a person drinks several cans throughout the day, however, the level of caffeine intake can become dangerously high. According to World Health Organization recommendations, a safe daily dose of caffeine should not exceed 400 milligrams. However, when energy drinks are consumed, it is easy to exceed this amount, especially when considering caffeine from other sources such as tea or chocolate. In one case, a young man from Australia who drank three cans of energy drinks every day to maintain energy at work suddenly experienced sharp chest pains and loss of consciousness. Doctors diagnosed him with cardiac arrhythmia caused by a caffeine overdose. He had to completely give up energy drinks, and the recovery process took several months. To protect yourself from the negative consequences associated with the use of energy drinks, it is worth reconsidering your habits and take a few simple but effective measures. Start by reducing or completely avoiding energy drinks. If you often feel tired, try replacing them with more natural ways to restore energy, such as getting adequate sleep and regular physical activity. These methods can help you feel more alert without harming your health. If giving up energy drinks completely is difficult, it's important to watch the amount of caffeine you consume. Do not exceed the recommended daily dose of 400 milligrams, considering all sources of caffeine such as coffee, tea, or chocolate. This will help avoid overloading your body. Try replacing energy drinks with safer alternatives. Green tea or water with lemon can be a great option, as they are invigorating and restore energy without putting a strain on your heart and nervous system like energy drinks do. Don't forget to take time to rest. Constant fatigue is often due to general exhaustion of the body. Think about how to balance your day so that it includes time for full recovery. Not only is it important to get a good night's sleep, but it is also important to allow yourself to relax and rejuvenate throughout the day. Energy drinks may seem like a quick and convenient way to get your strength and energy back, but they carry serious health risks. Their high caffeine and sugar content can negatively affect heart function, cause rhythm disturbances, and affect the nervous system, causing anxiety and insomnia. 
To avoid these consequences, it is worth considering giving up energy drinks or replacing them with safer alternatives. What do you think about this? Do you agree with these statements? If there are any questions, ask them in the comments. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.